York Times published minutes ago on the website about the apparent pressure one top diplomat felt from President Trump to try to convince the British to move a major sporting event that attracts competitors from all across the world, not to mention thousands of fans, paying fans, to a Trump property. Back with us, Maggie Haberman, who helped break this story. So, Maggie, what exactly are we talking about here in terms of the British Open and what President Trump was asking the U.S. ambassador to Britain to do? Sure. So, uh, according to reporting from my colleagues, Mark Landler in London, Laura Jakes covering the State Department, uh, and, and me, that uh, Woody Johnson, the ambassador to the U.K., uh, told colleagues that he was pressured by or, or asked or, or urged or something in 2018 by President Trump um, to try to help him land the British Open at one of the president's clubs in the UK, uh, his golf course in Turnberry. Uh, that is not, it, it's not even possible in terms of how the British Open uh, is selected for certain sites, um, but it does speak to, you know, we have seen areas where the president has tried to steer business to his private firms into his private holdings, you know, such as the Doral last year as a possible host for the G7, which ultimately didn't happen and was canceled and it was moved from the Doral anyway after an uproar. Um, but this is, the, this is not the first time the president has done this, but it is extraordinary. And by raising this with an ambassador, he is using government resources in a very specific way and other government officials uh, as instruments to try to get something that he wants for his business. How did the ambassador, not to mention other diplomats associated with it, react to this pressure? Sure. So um, uh, Woody Johnson uh, apparently discussed it with uh, his deputy at the time. The deputy advised against raising this, but Woody Johnson still did bring it up in, in some fashion in a meeting uh, with officials from the UK, including the Secretary of State for Scotland. Um, it was not, as we understand it, made as a direct ask. It was mentioned or suggested or, or raised or broached in some way. Um, but again, it was something that, uh, that stood out to people. It was something that was unsettling for other diplomats in the UK. They did not see this as a normal course of business. Uh, and it has been one aspect of what has been uh, described to us as something of a rocky tenure for Woody Johnson uh, in, uh, in the UK. There was an inspection, a routine inspection, late, late last year at the embassy, uh, in which some complaints were made about how Woody Johnson comports himself around staff, about asking um, you know, whether one potential hire was Jewish, about making comments about women's looks. I think at least some of those comments are supposed to be in this draft report from the Inspector General's office, which has not been made public yet. Um, did the president violate any laws by making this ask? So, look, ethics officials um, make uh, express concerns about this. The president is not subject to the kinds of ethics laws, uh, you know, that, that other appointees in the government, that appointees in the government are, or that uh, people, personnel in the government are, people who he chooses to work there. There is a bit of a moat around what the president can and can't get in trouble for, um, but it, it raised concerns for ethics uh, experts as to the spirit of the ethics laws being violated. Look, it's swampy. I mean, I guess in Scotland they call them hogs, but it's swampy to be sure. Um, how has the White House reacted to this? They are not commenting. And, you know, I, I, I can't speak to why they, they decided they didn't want to weigh in, but uh, we were very explicit with them what the reporting was going to be, and they chose not to comment. If they then later condemned the report, just bear in mind that they had every opportunity to comment beforehand. It is born in mind. Maggie Hayward, thank you for sticking around for this breaking news. Appreciate it as always.